Long time no see everyone, it's your old major Cargon back at it again. This time having a look at these. The Mikio Sakabe Grounds Jewelry Sneakers. Now, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Comments are very, very much appreciated. And there's a Discord link down below where people are sharing things they're working on, selling all types of things you may be into. Roman's being very sneaky over here. He wants to go outside, but he can't go outside. I was told not to let him outside, so I will not be letting him outside. So, Mikio Sakabe, a label you may not be familiar with, or maybe you are. I actually don't know what you usually think about or what you're aware of. But anyway, very, very briefly, they are an avant-garde designer from Japan and they work in partnership with their partner, Jennyfax Clothing. They are a couple. They met, I think it was in Europe, in a non-Japanese speaking country where she was helping him with translating stuff and also, you know, expressing himself in English. Very, very sweet story. They've been putting out clothes for quite some time. And as of most recently, Tokyo Fashion Week, uh, the earlier in the year edition, they did do a line there. But here we are to talk about the shoes. And in about 2018, they launched a line together called Giddy Up that was focusing on like 3D printed clothing and shoes. And they launched a bunch of very, very interesting looking shoes. I don't know whether these actually went into production, but you can see them here. They're pretty wild. But from that, they came with two sneakers. There was the jewelry sneaker that we're going to talk about and also the interstellar. Both of them with very interesting soles and it had sort of different ways of sort of feeling on your feet. 2018, that's a few years ago. And that's when I was in Japan and I was seeing this shoe specifically pop up all over the place. And it's immediately eye-catching, this sole with like the different little bubbles on it. It stands out. Nowadays, a hell of a lot more kinds of shoes that they have on offer, different models, so many different colors, collaborations. It has become its own thing. But this one here is from the initial launch when it was known as Giddy. A year or two later in 2019, 2020, it did change to being called Grounds. And that's what it has been known as from now on. The cat is. Yeah, you're in trouble. That's right. I gave you treats and now you, this is how you've rewarded me. Maybe because I was dilly dallying too much. Back to what I was saying. These shoes I was seeing a lot closer to 2019, my last few months in Japan before I moved back in August that year. And always very, very curious. I didn't actually know what these were because there's no branding or anything on them but it's really, really nice to finally find a piece of them to try on for myself. And it also being the original release when it was known as Giddy. Nowadays, you can still get the jewelry. It's just got grounds branding inside it. So these shoes, bizarre, very unconventional looking. It is sort of just like this fly knit upper, but it's really the sole, which is the piece, the le piece de resistance of these protruding out the back. It is not really that squishy. If you try and like force it, doesn't feel like it could be really doing anything at all, but they are incredibly comfy. Having a look at the soles here as well. The soles are very similar on the new ones, except they do not say the giddy up print on the back there as well. Now I wanted to do a review on these and I know I'm in no buy, but I had to wear these to just be able to explain what they're actually like to put on because you see something like this and it doesn't really make any sense if at all in your mind what it could feel like and I wore these for a couple of days out and about in the city and around the house and my goodness these are probably one of the most comfy shoes I have ever put on my feet. At first they're really, really bizarre to walk in. The sole just feels a bit weird. And because it is separated, as you can see, it articulates in different points. It does feel a little bit weird. And I thought that I was maybe not gonna get used to it, but 10, 20 minutes out and about, easy. You probably get it done in more record time, but very, very easy to walk around in. And then, yeah, it just gets to a point where 
they kind of feel like you're walking on clouds. And that's something that they did promote as what it would be like to be wearing these shoes. But PR speak is PR speak, but actually having these on foot and walking around, it really is like something I've never felt before. Now, keep in mind, I've not experienced like Adidas Boost or any other type of like Nike special soles, things like that. I don't really have a frame of reference, but these are unreal and feel like nothing else I've ever felt. Looking a bit closer at details, we can see that we have giddy branding on the ends of the laces. You can see like the pattern of the knit sort of does vary a little bit here. These are just in the black, black model. There's a few scuffs from the previous owner as well. Here is the other one as well. So you can have a, a bit of a better, a bit of a better look at them here. Something important to note about these as well, though, is that even though we do have laces, these are more like a sock sneaker. You can kind of see with, I keep calling it fly knit, but with like the knit upper, it is something you can just sort of stretch and slip your foot in. I haven't had to adjust the laces or anything. These are in a size 28 and I am smaller than that, but these fit me pretty well. In Japan, I tried on, I think it was a 27 pair and they felt big on me. And that was a grounds branded pair. Branded? Branded pair. So I'm not sure whether there's been a slight difference in size in between when it was giddy and when it's now grounds. However, you can just secure with the laces to your foot as well. So there is a bit of give in these. So just be aware of that if you are seeking a pair for yourself. Price wise, now these days, these shoes go for about 500, 550 off the website. And the website has an absurd collection, as I mentioned earlier, so many different styles, but just referencing the jewelry sneakers, these ones, one of the OGs, they go for about 500, 550. In the secondhand market though, you will obviously find prices lower. And there seems to be no signs of them kind of limiting models or colors there's just always consistently releases that have just so much variation in things. So there are Mary Janes out, there are heeled models out, there is so many collaborations, there's double soles that are out at the moment. But this is, you know, where it all began at the jewelry and it's very, very, very nice to have a pair in hand and to have tried on. And honestly, if I was not in no buy, I would keep these and these are basically at the top of my list for the end of the year, well, the beginning of next year when this ends, because I really do want a pair for myself because they're unreal. I can't speak highly enough of them. A quick note about sneakers as well and maintenance, because this is such a unique looking sole, I don't know whether a cobbler could really do much to fix these up. We can see that there is like, the bubble part and there's little like sole bits on the bottom. So if that's sort of wearing down, maybe they can put things on. It, you'd lose the, the effect of what's on there. But I also, I just don't know. I genuinely don't know whether they'd be pretty gung-ho to go for it or whether they just put an entire flat piece on the bottom there. However, that is, you know, part of sneakers stuff. They're really hard to keep long lasting and fix up in that way, but Something to note, it probably doesn't affect you, but I like to think of things, especially recently with trying to maximize the longevity of the life of pieces that I have, how I can maintain and keep them up to scratch. So more details, there are six holes that the laces are laced through, and there's also a seventh. This one is not laced through, just sort of up here, should you wanna lace them all the way as well. We have branding on the back pull tab, it's, it's just, they're just really cool shoes. I, I can't get enough of them. And so anyway, enough dilly dallying, let's get them on foot.
Now one thing. These are loud. I mean, loud on like wooden floor, but listen to this. They kind of groan as you go around doing your thing. And then a bit of a full fit photo. This is pretty basic, just wearing a shirt and pants, but this is how they look. Very, very easy. They go so well with the kind of avant-garde, dark fashion look, but you could really just do whatever with them. They just draw a lot of attention based on the shape and how interesting they look. It's just, it's pretty wild. I, as I've said, I am such a fan of these shoes. <laughs> so yeah, this has been a closer look at the Mikio Sakabe Grounds jewelry sneaker. I highly recommend them if you're looking for something a bit different, something a bit unusual and something incredibly comfortable. I wouldn't play sport in these. They're not for sporting, they're for sneaking, though they're allowed on wood. So don't sneak around them on wood, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you'll take care of yourselves. Be fun, have safe, have safe, have fun, be safe. And as always, don't do anything I do, except next time you're out and about window shopping, looking at things, try on something really unusual looking that you really wouldn't try on any other time, because who knows? You might be pleasantly surprised or you might be adequately shocked, but you know, you gave it a shot and that's what life's about, isn't it? All right, you'll take care. Take it easy. Bye-bye.